What's going on guys? You're watching Engineered, and in today's video we're putting on a pair of Eisenman Race mufflers on my S52 Z3M Coupe. Is that lighter? Oh, whoa, that's a what Zippo. Is yeah, Zippo. Are they doing lighter? So a little overview of what you get out of the box. Uh, you get the two mufflers, the two link pipes, and it looks like the clamps to put the uh, link pipes onto the mufflers themselves. Uh, they come packaged up really nicely. There's tons and tons of layers of bubble wrap, uh, cardboard, uh, and everything in between that uh, they put on this stuff so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, the finish on everything is pretty nice. Um, the welds are, I guess, okay you know if you're spending pretty much a mortgage payment on a pair of mufflers you'd kind of want it to be a little prettier but at the end of the day you won't really be seeing it um, the whole finish is nice and polished looks good uh, and then one thing i noticed was the or i was curious about is what the inside looks and it's kind of odd it's it's i guess it goes from it makes sense it goes from a single to a wide pipe out to mufflers but what's interesting is these are the 83 millimeter tips but the muffler opening looks like it's maybe like two and a quarter, maybe two and a half inch. Um, and the only really muffling area is maybe six to eight inches inside that Y. And then I guess these little ports on the tips. Um, so I'm kind of nervous to see how loud this is. Hopefully it's not too crazy. I'm just going for the, the tone. Uh, but without further ado, let's get under the car, take the stock exhaust off and uh, pop these guys on. A little side by side obviously the tips are a lot larger on the Eisenmans um, they're a little bit lower so the muffler is gonna tuck up higher and actually to my surprise they're pretty similar size um, I would say that the Eisenmans only uh, a little bit shorter the stock muffler is a little bit taller but they're the same length and width the obligatory no muffler startup has to happen now so let's uh, give that a shot So mufflers are installed and on the car, uh, putting them on and getting the alignment just right was kind of a pain in the ass because uh, every bolt you tightened it would tweak the muffler more and then you lose one point of adjustment. Um, so I have it close for now. Uh, I know after a couple heat cycles they'll probably warp a little bit and change, uh, change their position so I'll readjust. Uh, but without further ado, this is how they look. So I am stoked. I love the big tips on it. They match the car, they fill out the cutouts of the bumper. Um, I still have to wipe it down with alcohol and then I'll be able to start it up. I'll kind of show you what I had to do with this. So <clears throat> the fitment to the uh, front subframe is very, very tight. I mean, there's like maybe an eighth of an inch on both pipes. Uh, this one I, I noticed was sitting a little bit higher. So I actually took it in my uh, Harbor Freight press and just kind of smushed it ever so slightly right there just to get a little bit of clearance. Um, but overall, everything is bolted up. Um, it is stock headers, stock midsection. I will be doing a custom midsection in the future with an X-pipe and probably some vibrant resonators. So right now it's just the uh, axle back. Let's see how it sounds. So exhaust is buttoned up. Uh, the alignment's like probably 95% there. Um, they kind of sag a little bit towards the outside each. Um, after I do a couple heat cycles and everything kind of gets into its place, I'll uh, readjust. But I'm really happy with how these look. They fill up the bumper cut. It's perfect. They match how the car looks. I'm stoked. 
I will say they're not my favorite sound uh, first impression they're a little droney uh, underneath like 2000 rpms um, but like I said I plan on doing a midsection for it with resonators and an x-pipe that should kind of smooth that out uh, and one of my cats are rattly so 